Uh, good morning everyone. Ken here from MB Homestead. Thought I'd give you guys a uh, Homestead Happenings uh, update. Um, a few things happen around a homestead. Uh, I wanted to uh, go over them. Um, it's been a long time since we talked about the homestead, but uh, yeah, a couple things have happened. Uh, some of the stuff's kind of mundane, i.e. lawn mowing, weeding, stuff like that. I'm not gonna, there's hundreds of videos out there on that, so we're not gonna cover that. But one of the things we are gonna cover is that. That is a hummingbird feeder, and what we did was made a second one. Um, we have had a, looks like a juvenile hummingbird come around a lot. Uh, they're kind of hard to get on video, so we'll, uh, we'll keep trying. Okay, I used to have a couple bird feeders up there, and uh, well, we've uh, has since made that hole there I just basically sunk it in the ground in some some concrete and uh, what we've done is added the bird feeders uh, one's got seed one's got sunflower seeds and then that yellow one that yellow one right there has thistle in it for actual finch it for finches in that that metal thing right there is what they call a squirrel and raccoon cage. It keeps the critters off the seeds. So they don't eat them and only the birds do. Okay. A um, couple other things going on here. Uh, got a lot of firewood I'll show you. We got to split it up. It's a nice morning out here on the homestead. It's about 7.30 right now. All right, so you can see uh, all the wood we got to split way over there. And for CJ, uh, yes, I am uh, using a hydraulic log splitter. I am not splitting all that by hand. Our grapes are taken off doing well um, you can see some of them climbing right to the top and if you look real close I have a wire and that's where I want the grapes to climb up and kind of go their own way there uh, some of them are learning real fast as you can see, so we're doing real well. And there's Miss Minnie. She's always accompanying me. Um, Bear likes to stay away. You can see Bear. He's in front of. There's Bear right in front of the arbor. Okay. Uh, again, grapes are learning. Uh, they have to be trained basically on how to do what they need to do. Okay. Um, there you go, CJ. There's the green beast. Keep it in the shade as best I can. I don't have a big barn to put it in. All the other implements, the snow blowers, the rototiller. There's a finishing mower over there somewhere. Um, this year you can see our gar that's our garden area. Um, we decided this year since we have a grandson that we kind of want to spend a little more time with him. So we're going to just plant some grass seed over there and let that grow over, become part of the backyard so there's a place he can run out and play and run around. We still have the orchard way out there as you see. Um, there's those black things are called tree teepees um, and they help there's uh, micro sprinklers uh, in there and they keep the water contained and help the trees maintain the water right where they're supposed to be and they really work because those trees have uh, in the last two three years have almost uh, doubled in size from when we first planted them okay okay 
A little more forward, CJ. I had to take a tree down. It was a widow maker over my neighbor's property right about, let me see, pretty much right behind, uh, pretty much right behind the uh, green, big green there. Um, my John Deere is called Little Green. This is called Big Green. Uh, there was a big tree that was leaning in on other trees I had to take down. I didn't want the neighbor doing it. Uh, he's uh, a nice guy, um, older gentleman. I didn't want him getting hurt. Uh, here we go. You ready? Ready, Minnie, huh? You ready? Come on. Hey. Minnie. Uh, that's what they want to do all day right there. All right, oh, I got some, these are supposed to be bluebird or song, bluebird houses, um, but if they're not put in the exact right spot, basically from what I've read, uh, they, they don't use them. So I put one there, and I got one. Oh, come on. There we go. Up there. Uh, oops. There it is. Up on the... Yeah, it's going to be hard to see it because of the sun. Hang on. Right there, near my blackberry bushes. Um, these have done quite well. We transplanted them from another spot and they're... They're doing really good. Yeah. There we go. So we're gonna redo the fire pit. Um, that's my fire pit. Uh, I also have a chimney that I use uh, to have little outdoor fires. So it's the quick, uh, quick happenings update again. Um, my grandson, he he takes precedence, so I do a lot, a lot with him. Um, I'm not quite ready to get him on the channel yet. He's still, I believe, too little. So he'll remain a mystery to y'all. The uh, the pups like to run a lot so we'll see if we can get them to run a couple times for you um, not working on much more do a couple other things but again some of the stuff is just mundane like weed whacking and grass cutting so I figured there's a bunch of videos on that out there that you don't need to watch some guy ride around on his riding lawnmower cutting his grass so, getting some birds on the bird feeders now. Let's see if we can catch them. Yep, that's bear. That's all he does with his ball. Squish it and squeak it. Oh, here's a little problem I have. Okay, let me show you it. You can see this hole right there? I have carpenter's bees nest in there. I've been spraying the crap out of that hole with this stuff. Okay, and no go, man. It is just they just keep coming back and coming back. Um, any suggestions on how I can rid myself of those because I don't want them so close to the house. I know bees are important. They pollinate, they make flowers bloom, they, 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 they help with that, but 
I don't want them so close to the house, that's all. So. Any ideas, suggestions would be greatly appreciated. And there goes Minnie, look at her go. That's what she likes to do. She'll do that all day if you give her the chance, so. All right, well, all right, well, that's a, that's a good update, I think. Um, and if something really interesting uh, is gonna happen, i.e. when I get that log splitter out, I'll, I'll take you along with that, show you a couple pieces. I did a review on it, but I'll just show it in action. Um, I got some pretty, pretty big rounds I gotta get split up that are gonna be, um, Interesting to watch me handle them because they're huge, they're pretty big and uh, kind of heavy. So, anyways, I appreciate everyone's time. I appreciate all our subscribers. Again, we're we're staying over a hundred. I'm 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 ecstatic. I don't have a giveaway for that. I apologize, but uh, all the thing I give you is my, my heartfelt thank you for that. So, I appreciate that. Thanks to everyone. Uh, thanks for your time watching the videos. Uh, and as I always say, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.